Hey guys, this is Donna Bells. What's up? Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. We are um, gonna finish up all the comments. I'm starting off with a Daredevil comment. Yeah, it sounds exciting, but it's really not. Because this is just like a rehash of the very first level in Mol Melty Molten, except you just can't get burnt. <laughs> so. Sorry, it was, you know, I couldn't pick anything more exciting. It was either this or two um, purple coin missions, and those just really take a long time, and... I don't know, I'm pretty sure those would take up the whole video. I want to get at least, like, let's say three stars in this video. Oh. I know last time I played this, Mario had a case of the crispy ass, but <laughs> I'm gonna try really hard not to get him burnt this time. Uh, I know how much easier it is to get burnt on a Daredevil run just because it's like, it's so nerve-wracking. And this music, man, it's intense. So, let's not get burnt, Mario. Hopefully I can do this the first time around because we've already seen this before. It's not like y'all wanna see it again. Ah. So yeah, basically we only have all of the uh, comments left. And I think in here there's another purple coin comment uh, that we still have to do. And uh, I, don't, I don't know if I have another Daredevil comment after this. I mean, I might. It'd be cool if I got it right after this. <laughs> It'd be pretty neat, just, you know, for continuity's sake. Pretty background is pretty. Love it. So basically, this is just gonna be like a big meteor shower of videos. Has anybody ever seen a meteor shower? I have. It was pretty amazing. Actually, one of the most amazing things that I've ever seen in my whole life. I must have seen like 20 huge, like white, blue tailed comets jetting through the sky, and it was. Amazing. I don't really want to talk about it while we're here in this, like, ugly place. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and right here we're just getting the star... star chips? Star chips. I was about to call them space chips for some reason. <laughs> Sounds like something that they'd sell, like, at the... like, the NASA or... Ooh, like the Smithsonian Museums. Like I talked about the um, the freeze-dried ice cream before and they also have a uh, freeze-dried or like astronaut strawberries. Those are pretty good actually. It just tastes like the strawberries in cereal. You know how that is. Kind of weird and spongy. But really sweet. And then... I forgot what else there is. Oh! They have um, ice cream sandwiches which are really weird. I don't remember that. I bought some for my cousins for Christmas, for like stocking stuffers, because um, I went to Washington, D.C., but I didn't really get to go anywhere. So I got them that at the, <laughs> at the Smithsonian store at the airport. Not at the actual museum, because we got snowed in. But yeah, I probably already talked about that before. <laughs> There's nothing else really to talk about here. We've already seen all this. And those jewels look weird right there in that little crevice. It's like herpes or something. Volcano herpes, I don't know. <laughs> Just let this be over. I'm surprised I've gotten this far without getting burnt. I feel like I've done this like so many times. Even though it's only been, this is like the second time. Maybe I practiced it a lot. I must have died during practice or something. A whole bunch. Okay, we're done. <laughs> There's our star. Yay! We only have to come back here once, I hope. Alrighty, so before we head on um, to another star, or another comet, I mean, um, all I have left are comets, so once you beat a level, the map will change to where there's no comets in orbit at all. See, I'll show you, there's not going to be anything. So what you have to do is go talk to that purple Luma down in the observatory and feed him and he'll give you more options. So that's what I'm going to go do. Alrighty, so I just fed the purple Luma 20... Wow, I was about to call him rupees. <laughs> oh my gosh! Alright, so, yeah, I fed him 20 star bits and he moved the comets around. And I had to feed him twice 
um, to actually get this Daredevil comet. And, um, because I wanted to do another Daredevil comet just for continuity's sake. Um, but anyway, I think this might be the last Daredevil that, we'll, that we're going to have to do in the whole game. I think. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to have to fight Major Burrows again. Major Burroughs' Devil Run. That didn't look right. <laughs> Is that how? I don't know. Maybe that's right. Burroughs is. Anyway, this is pretty easy. Just stomp and then spin into him. But don't get too close to him because I see how easy that would be to uh, just get hit by him on accident. <laughs> Alright, and the bunny's safe now. Good. And he's just gonna come from some random direction. And once he comes out of ground, stomp him and spin into his butt. I love the noise that he makes when he hits the ground. <laughs> All right. He's gonna come from the random direction again. And then stomp him. And then wait till he's near you again. Stomp again. Because then he'll be closer to you when he's out of the ground. It's much easier to spin into him. You know, instead of just like doing two ground pounds in a row. Yay! There we go! Ow. Bunny. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. Whoa. <laughs> Jump fail. <laughs> All right. I'll meet you at the next comet. Hey, guys. So <laughs> I'm just back in the bedroom again. And I couldn't find another Daredevil comet to go to. So we're doing a speedy comet. And I know this is just like rehashing the stupid level again. But, I don't know, this this level's kind of fun to actually do the, the speed run in. Not that time is really a factor, unless you keep missing the blue star chips on this planet right here. <laughs> which I've done before. So, eh. <laughs> Just be wary of that. Anyway, yeah, this is pretty easy. Alright, so, I don't know why I thought didn't think to do this before, but just stay in the middle between all these pokeballs, or whatever they're called. <laughs> and yeah, just spin when they get all close to you. Pokey heads. Pokeballs is cuter, though. <laughs> oh, dang it. I always suck at spinning into this guy. I don't know why. You die! Come here! There you go. Okay. I need a coin. Here's a coin. Yay! Alrighty, we've been here a few times before. I still feel like that these... Uh, the Daredevil runs and the Speedy Comet runs are just like... Really lazy... Uh, like... Levels that the developers thought of. Like, it's just like rehashing the, the level over and over again. Which is... I don't know, I guess it's more fun to do than to... Like, actually watch it over and over again. Anyway... Ah! I think I'm missing all the star chips. Dang it! <laughs> I only got one that whole time. Okay, well, there's two. That makes me feel a little bit better. I'll just grab this shell. Hopefully I can open that chest. Um... Every time... Or, well... Not every time. I haven't been here since the last time I played through this, but... It makes me think of, uh... Dang it! I missed it again! <laughs> ah! But it makes me think of... Moulin Rouge, because I remember talking about it, like, right here in this spot, which is weird. Do y'all ever do that? Like, if you're riding in a car or something, and you're at a certain location, and you can remember the exact, lo like, the exact conversation or what song you were listening to when you passed that, uh, that spot last time? Well, that happens to me with video games and, I guess, commentary. But it happens to me in the car all the time, too. Like, say if I'm, like, a passenger and I'm reading a book, I can, and I look outside um, during a certain part of the book, like, I can tell exactly what part of the book I was on, what sentence I was reading, when I pass that certain location if I, you know, pass it again. Which is weird. <laughs> I, I think that's, like, part of my, like, photographic memory. Because I can associate, like, places with songs or, you know, wherever I was, whatever I was doing in that location. Does anybody else have that? Is that, like, photographic memory? Because I'm not really sure. 
Um, I definitely know I have like a. I learn with like pictures and graphics and stuff, so. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't surprise me that I have that. And photographic memory is very convenient on tests and stuff because it's so much easier to study. I don't have to study that often because I can remember, like, with colors and if I write it down, like, I don't have to study very much, which is very good for me. So I love having this photographic memory kind of thing or whatever it is. Visual memory. I don't know. If anybody else has that, you're very lucky. Because I can say that from my experience. <laughs> I probably just talked about that forever. I feel like I'm thinking about school too much. <laughs> Talking about studying and learning and stuff. Blech. Don't remind me! Anybody else start school here pretty soon? Or have already started? Gah! I'm so nervous. I really am. Here we go! Sorry, I didn't talk much about that again, but... Look, we've already seen that before. Come on. Alright, so I don't really think that I have enough time to get another star right now because I think the rest are like purple comets and the other ones that I, I'm thinking of now take kind of a while. I don't really want to rush it. Um, anyway, 111 stars is a good place to stop. So, peace out.